Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Jerry Kabiru. As usual, Jerry Wakafiro. Happy New Year from the blue city of Nairobi. In case you're new here, welcome. We say Karibu Sana. For those who have been here, thank you so much for continuing with this journey. Um, if you're new, for those who are happening to pass by the first time or the second time or even the tenth time and you don't know exactly what I do, I do creativity. I take you through the journey of creating, recycling and taking waste and turning them into beautiful art like this tire table, Ottoman stool, we decorate bottle and I go through the training. I train people what I do. I pass down the skills that God gave me. So I know it's a new year. I'm so excited. This year I have a lot in store for this channel and I'm hoping I will be faithful to drop the videos every Sunday. Da -da 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 -da. Every Sunday of every creativity I have. This year I'm hoping to take the creativity to the next level. You know? And today I'm going to start with a nice tutorial. I have this dining table. I want to be eating my dinners sometimes with candles. And I thought, wow, I want to make something. But anyway, I'm starting to make stuff for my own house. Because most of the time I make stuff and I sell. I know that's bad. It does that. Great. So anyway, I make stuff and I sell. So this year I'm hoping, I'm really, really hoping I'm going to do stuff for myself and discipline myself not to sell my own stuff. <laughs> I know. So we're going to make this uh, candle holder. But before we make this candle holder, can I show you how I spray painted this bottle? Yes, you got to see that video. And after you see this video, please go back to my videos and see how to spray paint a bottle. It will give you more tips on how to spray paint a bottle, uh, especially if you're spray painting for selling. So let's go through this video and you will see. So we're going to spray paint these bottles. The first thing you need to do for you to spray paint the bottles very well is to soak your bottles. So I had soaked these bottles in the water to remove the papers. For about a week these were a bit hard or tough bottles to remove the paper and when you're soaking put some soap in there some powder soap it helps so the first thing is that if you're going to spray paint spray paint from a distance don't put your don't spray your paint just next to the bottle it doesn't come out neat it will come out a bit rough so and then Avoid to repeat the same spot for so long um, and uh, if it's your first time you will have a bit of head hard time here and there but for me I'm used to that's why you see me repeating I know how much I can repeat and how much I cannot repeat so don't repeat then as you can see the board there it's to prevent the wind if you're spray painting because you're spray painting from a distance make sure you're not in a place where the wind is too much because then it will take all your paint away it will fly away with your paint so i had gold and i know you can see the other can the other can is called varnish or uh, clear paint once you apply whatever color you apply it's good to put the varnish or the clear paint on top to protect your paint from coming out and also to give it a shiny nice finish look now different companies have for example if this is gold different companies there are few spray painting companies in kenya different company have different shades of gold that you have to be aware so when you're buying gold from this company and you're doing so many bot bottles just stick with one company because the gold will, the shades of gold will be a bit different uh, i'm not going to advertise the companies they didn't pay for sponsorship so <laughs> you have to find that out yourself but this company that i was use, using to spray paint had rose gold and i loved rose gold so i left the bottles to dry for a few minutes about 15 minutes then i came back and i apply, applied the um, clear paint or the varnish on top of the bottles 
and one of the bottle i didn't want to paint it co completely so that's not a mistake as you can see there i just decided i will have a break somewhere i won't paint it to completely gold so once i was done you can see the clear shininess so once i was done i left my bottles out for about 20 to 30 minutes i know that's too long because spray paint dries fast but i needed that for it to dry very very well guys i hope you've gotten tips on how to spray paint a bottle so um here is our spray painted bottle you see how the clear spray paint makes the bottle shine i know this specific bottle i love them the only thing i really struggled was to remove this i soaked most of the time i soak my bottles for about even three four days even sometimes a week depending on what type of a bottle it is and what i want to achieve but this one i tried soaking for long it didn't come out clearly but i said yo it's art wherever who cares so i have this bottle i have this candle thing i have the candle glue stick and of course some shells here that we're going to use here and there so the first thing i want to do is attach my candle no, to the candle holder in there Maybe I should not use the candle. <laughs> I should not use the glue stick on it because it's not holding. I had to turn off a bit of my light for you to see so there it is and I have some shells here
guys, I know I look like I'm in a dark place or something, but it's not that dark. Um, this is the finished product. I'm hoping to make some shelves in the house and place my bottle, this one, as a decoration. But this one will remain on the dining table as candle holder. So I have come, definitely I've come to the end of this video. I would like to hear from you. What do you think about this? Don't, please don't forget to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. It is a very easy project. I think anyone can do this. Anyone, and I mean anyone. You don't have to be a DIY expert or anything. All you need is a few tools here and there. And you can just copy this idea and just do it the way it is. What do you think? Leave a comment down below. And give the video a thumbs up, of course. And if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. And if you ever, ever, ever want to learn DIY, reach out to me on Facebook, I'm Jerica Viru. On YouTube, I'm Jerica Viru. And until the next Sunday, the next day, I'm looking forward to see you and to show you more and more creativity. So until then, I'm going to say bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you and Happy New Year.